The next step in my setup is to take care of the multi-viewer. The multi-viewer is what's going to show me all of my sources as well as the previews for my various screens and where I can set up my effects. I'll go into the multi-viewer setup and start with the output format. We're going to go ahead and use 720p as our output format to match the monitor we have to be using currently. The next is the layout. Now I've selected layout 2 as it gives me a good representation of the sources I want to be dealing with. I have smaller uh, windows for my sources, a little bit larger windows for my auxes, and then obviously my previews, etc. There's several different types of layouts that are effective for this type of uh, uh, usage for the Screen Pro Plus uh, style system. You can also go into dual layouts. Uh, this gives you many more options for sources and screen layouts. Uh, you'll find uh, whatever works best for you and whatever makes it most comfortable. So I'm going to go ahead with layout number two. Now once we've selected layout, we can also customize the colors. So if you want to change the background to suit your company colors or I guess your mood, we can do that. Uh, we can also uh, affect the border color. I usually pick a white, this makes it a little easier to see the edges of my video for sizing purposes. And then we could also assign different colors for the UMDs based on source type. We'll come back to that later. The next thing I'm going to do is start with sources. So I like preview in the position that it's at, but I don't really need program. I can see that on the screens. So I'm going to go ahead and assign my other mix effects previews to these big windows. So as I'm building my effects with keys and such, I can see what I'm doing before I take them to screen. So I've got preview, ME1 preview, and ME2 preview. These are where I'm going to be able to set up my effects before I make them happen. I'm going to start kind of backwards. I'm going to start with window 9. You can see here window number 9 is my last one. I'm going to assign that my preview for my downstage monitor. So we're going to select DSM, I think, and then I'm going to work my way up, my left preview. So now I have my screens assigned. Now I'm going to add a couple programs in here so I can see what's going on. So I'm going to pick up ME2 program so I can see what's live there, as well as ME1 program. That allows me to see my, that my effects are online before I take them. I'm then going to go through and set up my sources. So window 10 starts with camera 1. I'm going to then assign maybe my Blu-ray disc. And then my, and of course, my other BT. Now I do have the ability to also come in and assign an, up to an eight character name for these sources. So for instance, camera one, I may want to add to that text and call that Bob's Cam. Now I remember that that's Bob. Uh, blur, there again, I can uh, change that to be Blu-ray. Makes a little bit more sense to the technical director. That's pretty much it, and of course we're going to do a save all to save our system settings at this point.